What we'll do first is find the equation of the tangent line. To do that, remember we need this. Um, the limit as h approaches zero of f of a plus h. Well, a is one here, so f of one plus h minus f of a, so minus f of one, all divided by h. All right, so then the question is, what is f of one plus h? Well, that means you take one plus h and you plug it in here everywhere you see an x. Okay, so I'll go in here and here. So you end up with this. Limit as h approaches zero, f of one plus h, so that would be one plus h squared minus four times one plus h minus f of one. We gotta be careful here, it's gonna be minus, and then I always just put an open parenthesis there. It's minus the whole thing. It's really easy to get sloppy with negative signs here and make a mistake. So minus f of one, f of one is gonna be one minus four. Just plugging in one for x here. So I end up with this expression here. Questions to that point? All right, let's keep on going then. So we have the limit as h approaches zero. Square this out. So one plus two h plus h squared minus four minus four h. So this would be negative three minus the negative three is plus three. All divided by h. And each time you're kind of mentally putting in zero, you know, do algebra, check the limit, do algebra, check the limit. It doesn't matter because we're always dividing by zero up until now. So let's keep going. Notice that I'm keeping the limit notation as I go here. Um, so I have one minus four, that's negative three plus three. Well, that means that uh, all the constant terms are gone. Two H minus four H. So that's minus two H is what that will be ultimately. So I can write this H squared minus two H divided by H. Continue simpling, simpling, <laughs> simplifying. Let's see if we can factor out an h from the top. I think we can. We have h squared here and h here. So this will end up being limit as h approaches zero of h times h minus two all over h. Okay, so I have h over h is one over one. So I have h minus two. When I plug in zero then, I will get zero minus two, which is negative two. Okay, so that's the slope of my tangent line. All right, so to write the equation of the tangent line, um, to write the equation of the tangent line, I need two things, a slope and a point. Well, I've got the slope, it's negative two, right? And I have a point, I can, or at least I can figure out a point. So the point that it's gonna go through is one comma f of one, or one comma negative three. Yeah. All right, so the equation in my tangent line will be negative two times x minus one minus three. Simplify. So be negative two x plus two minus three, so minus one. Is that right? Oh, that's what you said at the beginning. All right, so negative two x minus one. Sorry, right. still worth going through. Okay, so normal line then. Find the equation of the normal line. That's the line that's perpendicular to the tangent line, right? So, uh, and hopefully we can we remember from algebra one, algebra two, that a perpendicular perpendicular lines have slopes that are opposite reciprocals. Opposite being the opposite sign. So if it's negative, it turns positive, and vice versa. Um, reciprocal meaning you take whatever the fraction is and flip it. Okay, so. For our, our normal line slope, it's going to be positive. So imagine this is two over one, right? It's gonna be positive one over two through the same point. Okay, so just drop it in and then do math. So this will end up being y equals one half x. Let's see, minus one half minus three, so minus three and a half, is that right? I think that's it.